Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with my February Ipsy Glam Bag and I got this last week. It's already Sunday so I got it maybe like four days ago and um, yeah I'm excited. Um, this is a cute canvas bag. I actually think it's really pretty. Let's just get it open. Okay so the first thing I see here is a blush by Model Co and it's called Peach Bellini. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It looks like a really nice color. It is, it looks like a powder from here, but who knows? <laughs> so that's the color right there. I'm gonna swatch it. Ooh, it's nice and soft. That is very, very pigmented. That is really pretty. That is right up my alley, too. Very, very pigmented. As you can see, I'm still rubbing. Very peachy. It does have a hint of shimmer to it, but it is not an overpowering glittery shimmer. It's more like just an iridescent uh, golden shimmer to it. Um, typical peachy pink with golden shimmer. I love these kind of blushes. So the next thing I see here comes with in a little Ziploc. Cool. And it is a Mitchell and Peach Floor Number One Radiance Fine Radiance Face Oil. Okay, a light oil with natural antioxidants and vitamins. To use, massage two to three drops into skin alone or under moisturizer. I love facial oils. Oh, this smells nice and soft. This is a good sized amount. Jojoba, grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, apricot or apricot, however you guys pronounce it. I pronounce it apricot. Um, kernel oil coconut oil is the first ingredient so I'm all for that can't wait to give this a try this is a good sample like this oils go a very very long way you can use them with just your moisturizer by itself I also recommend using the oils when you want a lighter base so if you have a thicker foundation you love that foundation like my Kat Von D locket I definitely use oils with that especially for the winter time Okay, so the next thing here is from Cargo Cosmetics, and it is, assuming, a lip gloss, and it's in Anguilla. It's okay. Me and cellophane wrappers are, like, best friends. Okay, so this is, like, a very milky baby pink. I want to swatch it. This has a scent, but... I can't put my finger on it. Oh, this is pretty. Definitely a baby pink. I'll do a... This is very soft. It doesn't feel like it'll be a very sticky gloss. That's it right there. It doesn't feel like it's going to be a really, really sticky gloss. It feels like it'll be a nice little gloss. I love Cargo Cosmetics. I have one of their lipsticks and a blush. And those are like awesome, awesome products. So I'm kind of glad I got a nice little... Uh, decent size lip gloss to try. Okay, so the next thing in here is from Joya Perfume, and I'm assuming it's a sample of perfume. And I'm just gonna open it. Oh, it's a roller ball. I'll put it on because I don't have perfume on yet. Hmm. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's oil, is this an oil? This, okay, all right, okay. This smells like a more floral-based alien. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled the perfume Alien from Theory Mueller. Oh, ooh, yes. This is a more softer, a hint of more floral, but that same musky, strange, I don't know what it is. Let's see if my hubby likes that. I'm going to actually go stop by and see him for a few minutes. So let's see if hubby likes the scent. Um, it's very, very uh, oily. Yes. I'm getting hints of Alien, and that's like one of my favorite fragrances, and that's a fragrance that I have not been able to get my hands on because it is pricier. Um, I'm going to look this up. I'm going to see how I feel about it throughout the day, but this smells so familiar to Alien. If you guys have smelled it, it's either a love it or hate it perfume. There's like no in between with that perfume, but I love it. Mm. Okay, 
Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, the last thing in my Ipsy Glam bag is a Rob Sheppy for Teeny Beauty. And I'm wondering if this is like, I think I've gotten nail polishes from them, which are beautiful polishes, but eh, I'm not into it. So this is an eyeshadow and it's called Pearl Fizz. I'm sorry guys, I'm like freezing. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. It looks like a nice champagne -y color, perfect for the inner corner of the eye. As you guys can see, that's just kind of what I go for. Okay. Let's swatch it under the lipstick or the lip gloss. I think I have a color like this already in my collection from Ipsy. Um, it is really pretty. You can never go wrong with having too many champagnes because it's one of the colors I use the most for under bright highlight. You can use it as a highlight for the bridge of the nose and for the inner corner. corner. So these kind of colors are very uh, multi-purpose. So you can always, I don't think you can ever have enough champagne shades. But this is really pretty. I mean, it's not like super pigmented or anything like that. And it's not super shimmery. It's more on a satin style. It's not shimmery. It's not glittery. It's more of a set and it's got a nice glow to it. All right. So that's pretty much it for my Ipsy Glam Bag. I have to say my favorite item is the blush. I want to say this. Actually, I don't think that there's not one item in here that I don't want to try out and I'm excited to try out. This perfume though. This, um, this smells really lovely. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to test this out for the day. <laughs> this might be my first Ipsy purchase. <gasps> Go figure. <laughs> so guys, that's pretty much it for my Ipsy Glam Bag unbagging for the month of February. If you guys are interested in any of the subscriptions that I film uh, throughout my channel, I have all the links down below, so feel free to check those out. So anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.